Process. Yeah, I mean, it's different. It's a new experience, you know, for all these guys. You know, we got a lot of rookies on this team, and there's going to be a lot of guys that, you know, will continue to develop and get better and, and just want to make sure that they're, um, you know, they're competing each and every day and they understand how difficult this league is. And, you know, especially as a, as a young quarterback, you know, to, to step back in there with a live rush and, you know, seeing coverage. And, you know, that's, that's why we have these preseason games. That's why I wanted to put out there. That's why I wanted to take the ball and, you know, to, to put him in those situations, that's the only way that you can grow. Um, you know, and, and again, he kept some plays alive with his legs, and, and we just have to be able to combine some of that with, with making great decisions when guys are, are open and, and being decisive and accurate with the football. Mike, in Caleb's first game action in, in a long time, just what, what did you kind of see from him just kind of getting back into the groove of things? Well, I mean, I think it was, you know, it was probably okay to start not good enough, you know, third and five playing off it, you know, Giving up a ball at the stick, but then I thought it got better. I thought he, you know, settled down a little bit. You brought Logan in mid, in the middle of a drive. Is that because you want to put him in kind of a, a scenario? That no, that's because I I wanted I, I wanted Malik to throw the ball, and he and he wasn't, so I put Logan in. As far as the management of what came after, once you put Logan in, what did you kind of see from him throughout the course of the season? Well, we turned it over. I mean, there was some pressure, and you know, ball was underthrown. Whether you know, the receiver, you know, um, communication or just, you know, just the timing on it. Um, you know, you have to just be able to, to go in there and process the group that you're in there. And, you know, normally it's finding a guy um, that you're comfortable with. And I think he was doing that there with Mason. Um, you know, contested catch that ends up getting intercepted. Um, you know, so there's going to be some things that, that he did well and, you know, certainly the turnovers were disappointing. Had Malik thrown the ball, could he have theoretically played the whole game? No, probably not. No, I don't. I don't think. You know, I think the plan was to uh, to make sure they both played. Everybody played. I'm I'm proud of that. And you know, these guys have been working hard, um, each and every one of them. Um, you know, so everybody played, and um, you know, I think that's you know we owe it to those guys that that are out there and working hard. Did you really some guys, you know, like Chestnut, for example, for stuff that maybe he's done during camp. And, and yeah, and I think that that was a great decision uh, by Tony uh, to, to keep him in there after the fumble. Uh, I felt like uh, Julius had really, um, you know, earned it, you know, earned the right to, to be the starter tonight. Um, those things will change. Um, you know, he fumbled early in training camp and, and came back and competed and you know, I thought he ran hard. I thought he did some nice things. I thought Hassan did did some nice things, and you know, whether it was on the screen or, you know, catching the ball out of the backfield. For guys like uh, Lawler, um, when it comes to setting the edge and stuff like that, we talked to you about that specifically in the defense a million times. But what are kind of the coaching points for him that you'll, have, you'll go back and, and give him after the fact? Well, you know, I mean, just how quickly some of those things happen. You know, I mean, those, you know. Skilled players, quarterbacks, running backs, and being able to, to get on the edge quick. And, you know, we'll take a look at seeing, you know, you know whether it was the, the tight end blocking down and, and alignment pulling and getting on them quick and, you know, that blocking scheme. And if it's a new blocking scheme and it's something that, that they haven't seen in, in training camp, well, then, you know, we'll have to coach them up. And if it's a play that, you know, they, I think that they reasonably had seen enough in training camp, then, then we have to figure out why. But, you know, there were some scheme plays today that, you know, we just you – know, we didn't rep and, you know, give, give Baltimore all the credit. Like, they, they executed. They took care of the football. Um, they rushed our quarterback. And, um, you know, so whether it's at, at Lawler's position or any of the other positions that, you know, if it's a new play, then yeah, we'll go back and coach it. And, you know, that's what, that's what these preseason games are for. Did you want that out of a preseason game? From a yeah, absolutely. Game? You know what I mean? I think that, you know, that that's why we like practicing against other teams. So you see other stuff and – other players with skill sets, and um, I think it'll only help our football team. And you know, we know how good Baltimore is, and, and how consistent they are, and and what they stand for. So I, I told them coming down that this was going to be a, you know, a great challenge and a great test. And some guys showed up, and, and some guys are going to need to go back home and and get better. Question yeah. important: Was there something specifically that you were looking for, or was it just a matter of just getting him ready? Well, I think it was just a process of. You know, he's probably had his best couple days as of late and kind of playing the way that we expect him to play, and then I'm sure that he expects himself to play. So it was just putting a good 
uh, stamp on a, on a positive week, uh, get them out there, get them some action, and um, and then moved on. How did you like the effort and finish of David at the end with a couple of sacks? Yeah, and David has shown flashes, and we just have to, you know, we're he's he's dropping some and he's playing off the ball a little bit, and you know, just by necessity. Um, but he's also improved, and he's also shown the ability to kind of uh, flash uh, on the edge there. And so, um, you know, we'll have to keep putting him in those positions. Aaron got some snaps at center in the first half. Is that something that you've done a lot of before? Or just well, just, just want to try to make sure that. Um, you know, when we get to the regular season, you know, that I'm looking at that eight guys that, that we're going to have to play in the game. You know, that's how many we get to take to the game and um, trying to figure out who would play where. And, you know, Aaron has had a, you know, a very consistent and a very competitive uh, camp at, at left guard. And I thought having Jamarco play some guard, I think Jamarco's practiced better lately. Um, and having Brew go in there at center, you know, just to kind of show us um, if he, if that's something that, we feel like we would want to do during the season. I mean, yeah, it's not the result you're looking for, but we're just blessed to have an opportunity to go out there and play some football. I mean, you got a lot to learn from. We got a lot to look at on film. Uh, so I guess it's really cool to get out there again and play football. Being out there in that live action, how did that process, and I know you wanted to, you know, match your feet to your eyes and everything. How did that process go for you? Yeah, I missed some things probably, uh, and I just made up for it with my legs. I can't continue to, like, you know, rely on that, though, but that's what the preseason is for. Uh, so you can just see those things against a live defense. And uh, one we hadn't played before, you know, with the joint practices next week, we'll have an opportunity to play these guys. But like you say, you just got to look at the film, take it for what it's worth, and continue to work. I mean, we're in the middle of camp. When did you find out you're starting the league, and how good is it to maybe get an opportunity maybe, maybe early? Uh, I found out earlier this week uh, he just gave me an opportunity to just – you know, work on my routine for preparation and, you know, getting with the guys and stuff. So it was really cool. It was really, like, abbreviated because of like, us being in camp. But it was also really cool just to have that process go on. And now you see what it looks like, and I can learn from it. Do you remember the good things more or the things maybe you felt like you should have done better more? After? Oh, I'm going to remember the things I should have done better. But, like I said, it's a learning experience, and you got to take it for what it is. It's a preseason, uh, but it's an opportunity at the same time. So... I just try to continue to work and watch through the film and just keep on going. Coach said he wanted you to, he wanted you to throw the ball more. Yeah. I mean, what did he say to you on the sideline? He said, we look at the film and see. Yeah. So I mean, what were the issues? We just not wanted to turn it over, just wanted to run with it, or what? Uh, as far as what part? Why you weren't throwing it when he, when he wanted you to throw it. I mean, all you do is go out there and play the game. You don't have a play like, I have to pass the ball this play. I have to run the ball this play. I mean, just play the game, bro. I mean, I probably ran it a little bit more than I threw it tonight. I got it. That's why we got to look at film. But I don't know. Let's see on film. <laughs> no, no, you have that ace in your pocket, the dynamic running ability. Like, is it tough to balance? Like, okay, I got to steal that back. I mean, yeah. You just got to know when you need it and when you don't. Uh, got to have it. And, uh. That's what like this whole process is about. That's what's the really cool thing about it, bro. I'm blessed in many ways, and I, I appreciate it. But uh, it's about learning, you know, when to use what and when to, you know, just playing the game. How did it feel to score the first NFL touchdown? It was cool. They checked cover zero on I me. Mean, I was like, oh, uh, well, this play might not work. So just let God do what he do, man. Malik, does it almost feel good to kind of get this first one out of the way and you could just kind of, you know, all the outside noise, maybe, and just kind of keep going, going from now, knowing that you kind of got it out of your system, so to speak. I mean, it's cool, but like you say, you got to take everything one day at a time. I mean, you don't know if you wake up tomorrow, so I'm just glad I got the opportunity today. That's you know, so all you can worry about is today. So I worry about tomorrow when it comes, and I worry about watching the film and getting better and understanding what went wrong tonight and that we didn't get the victory, but you just got to continue to keep going. Who all did you have here in the league? I heard people yell at you in pregame, saw some people in your uniform. Who was here representing you, and what was that like? Oh, my mom and my dad, uh, my uncle and my quarterback coach, and I had a couple of teammates come from Liberty, so that was pretty cool.